Hey Aries, welcome to the weekly love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 12th to the 21st. Thank you for everybody who's liked, sub subscribed, and commented. I really do appreciate it. And for everybody who's checked out Instagram where I do, uh, I post daily energies to be aware of. So check that out if you haven't checked it out yet. So my newbies, hello. So I always go for my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you could be experiencing directly or someone who you are energetically attached to or someone in your direct environment. So just keep that in mind. It is energy. It can be vice versa. Then we're going to go ahead and get into the reading. So Aries, I picked up some interesting stuff for you, as always, as always with you, Aries. Uh, I picked up a lot of fiery, dry, like, driven energy. And then what, what really surprised me, I picked up a lot of water energies, Aries. That really surprised me quite a bit. And it's funny because I'm going to tell you everything I saw. But when I start a reading, at first I meditate. And then whatever I get, I get. And then I start prepping the cards. And so Everything I got during your meditative session was very kind of whimsical, but at the same time, there was like this fire water element, which I think is actually, it's a little hard on you. To be honest, Aries, I feel like it's a little hard on you, but it's serving a purpose. And I started getting the cards ready and then the star card flipped out like super quick like that. And then all of a sudden I wanted to cry. And I was like, oh my God, Aries, what is going on? <laughs> is your whole world turning upside down? What is going on, Aries? So anyway... The first thing I saw, uh, I saw horses, like a lot of horses, all different kind of colors, but there were a few unicorns in the batch and they were all just running. They were all just running, going, like and all together, but the unicorns really stood out to me, Aries. And I feel like you have some people in your environment um, where it's like you're, you're trying to make sense of a situation, okay? And I feel like you have a lot of people either watching you or a lot of people around you and you're, you're starting to see who really stands out as being enlightened, more like, more like you, you know, Aries, I feel like you kind of feel a bit of a, like a unicorn, <laughs> you know, that you feel a little, you feel a little special and that's okay to feel that way. You feel a little special and you're looking at people and you're like, Ooh, they're special too. Ooh, they're special too. They're special too. And you're, you're basically picking out your soul tribe. You're, you're siphoning through people and you're like, that person matches with me. That person matches with me. The rest of those people don't, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a really cool energy actually, but I do feel a lot of motivation and a little bit of restlessness to go and get something done uh, to resolve a situation. I really feel that way. And I feel like that's coming down to a decision here, but in the midst of that, you're finding out who's really there to support you and who's really not right? So whatever decision you're going to make, Aries, you're driven, you're right? You're running. You're running like a horse. You're driven to do it. And you have a lot of power behind you as well. Something about power that could just relate to your career right now. I feel like that's more career than anything else. But Aries, when, when you get to that decision, when you make that decision or get to the point where you can make that decision, you're going to have a lot of people who are like-minded, who are just like you, who are going to be there to support you. Okay? So just know that. Then the other thing I saw, which is like more the whimsical here, uh, I was trying to figure out the best way to describe this because what I saw was so beautiful and so surreal. And I was like, there's no way I could describe that. And then I realized it clicked for me. For anybody who's ever seen Fantasia 2000, uh, first of all, you got to watch the original first and then watch Fantasia 2000. Fantasia 2000, there was a short where it's like it's whales, but they're like, you know, first they're swimming in their normal environment. And then all of a sudden they're like swimming in the sky. Right, I forget what it's called. That's actually one of my favorite pieces too. But that's what I saw, Aries, not the whales, but I saw the clouds and the stars. And it's just like, it was so beautiful and whimsical, very Piscean. So you could be doing the Pisces, you could have that in your chart, but I feel like that's just the full moon at work. Cause I'm gonna talk about this in my full moon video. The full moon in Pisces is gonna be uh, in conjunction with Neptune retrograding in Pisces. So that's gonna be compounding upon each other. Basically full moon in Pisces, is all about dream space. It's about the fifth. It's about the uh, multi dimensions. It's about intuition and downloads and and really seeing things much farther and much more detailed than you've ever seen them before. But so is Neptune retrograding in Pisces, and so they're basically supporting each other. So there's gonna be a lot of the energy and Aries. I feel like you're using that to at your advantage to pick out these unicorns and also to gain any clarity you need to make a certain decision. Okay. And then I saw a frog, which to me is always about taking out the trash which is also what you're doing, right? By siphoning through these people and really picking out, they're my supporter, they're my ally, they're my ally, they're really about me, they're really about me. All right, cool, we're good, we're good to go, okay? And Aries, I feel like you actually have to do that before you can make a certain decision. I feel like this big decision is coming down like 
you know, you're coming down to a big decision for something, Aries. It could just be career. It could be just in your own life. But whatever it is, I feel like you're feeling the need to have allies with you. And you will have your allies, Aries. So don't worry about that. And then I heard expect the unexpected. So Aries, I'm excited to get into this reading. Five minutes in, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, for those who are new to tarot or new to my channel, please know these are very general readings. They are not going to be for everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So if it's not your message this week, it's just not your message this week, and that's okay. Someone else had to hear that message. Um, also, Aries, we are working with energy. So like I said before, messages can be vice versa, vice versa vice versa, or reversed. Uh, so if it's resonating, but the roles are switched, just switch them and it's totally fine. Uh, gender does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And yeah, so let's get started, Aries. Let's get started. Oh, also guys, don't worry about the timeline on this on this reading. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading, that's when you're supposed to watch the reading, okay? So just know that time is not linear. So it's all good. All right, Aries, let's get into this. Any messages for Aries? Any messages for Aries regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Yeah, I'm feeling very Seven of Cups energy with you, which has kind of been going around like a bad case of the cold. And it's not even that you're confused. There's just a lot. Ooh, the card fell out. Page of Wands. I like it. I like that, Aries. That's, that's okay, that's your creative spark. That's that fire I'm feeling in you. The inspiration, the creative ideas, uh, figuring out new paths. Yeah, you're very inspired. You're, yeah, you're very inspired. Inspired? Inspired. You're feeling very inspired, Aries. You're feeling very driven. But you are getting restless, though, so just be mindful of that. You're getting restless because you just want to get it done like an Aries would. You need clarity first, and you need to make sure that you have your out your true allies in check. Some of you have definitely been dealing with some snakes, is what I'm getting. And because you're aware of that, you're like, oh no, I gotta take out the trash. <laughs> I gotta take out the trash before I go into my into any new endeavors or what have you. Um, but yeah, just watch that restlessness because you need that full clarity that's coming in with that full moon in Pisces, okay? messages for Aries regarding love September 12th to the 21st oh seven of cups that's right it's not that you're confused there's just a lot you're just dealing with a lot okay any messages for Aries okay so it's over here oh seven of wands that came out in your pre-shuffle too Leo energy so like I said it's like you're driven to get shit done you're driven to get that clarity but in doing so you are acting a little defensive but i don't think that's a bad thing aries i don't think that's a bad thing at all because you're protecting your new ideas you're protecting your your inspiration your creativity you are cooking up a lot of stuff aries that you know could be very beneficial to you and you don't want anyone to fuck it up especially for those of you who've been dealing with snakes that's why you're acting very protected about it yeah not a bad thing not a bad thing at all okay you might even feel a little hermity right now like you might even feel the need to kind of push away from people to gain the clarity you need, which again is not a bad idea, but just be mindful you might actually be feeling the need to pull away from people. Any messages for Aries? Any messages for Aries regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Aries regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? All right, so I got two other cards out here. Let's see. Nine or six? Nine. <laughs> I love this deck, but some of the things are hard to see. So we have nine of wands in reverse, which is Sagittarian energy. And then we have the three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Three of pentacles, that's about building. Like I said, Aries, you're inspired to do something and there's a decision that you have to make. And whatever that decision is, it's going to lead you to build something. Nine of wands in reverse is letting that guard down, realizing you don't have to fight every Tom, Dick, and Harry to get what you want, okay? That's actually what I'm getting with that. That you don't have to fight everybody along the way. You also, oh, Aries, that's deep. You also don't have to fight yourself. Ooh. Oh, I felt that. I got chills on that one. That's going to be for a couple of you. Um, stop fighting. Oh, Aries. Okay. I know not, not a lot of you are going to like this. But Aries, some of you, not all of you, some of you who are resonating with this, um, you've kind of always been in fight mode which is a little Aries-like. It's Mars. That's Mars energy. You've always kind of been in fight mode. You And it's, again, I'm just the messenger. It's made things a lot harder than they've ever had to be. Okay? Uh, and we've all, we're all guilty of doing that at some point in time. We're all guilty of doing that. Um, but when you stop the fighting and just kind of let things be, 
right? And let things happen in the time they're supposed to happen and not get so restless to get to that finish line, to get to where you want to be and really let the universe do its job and do its work. Things fall into place a lot easier. I can't pick these cards up. Things fall into place a lot easier with that Three of Pentacles energy and you'll be able to build what you want to build. But don't get too restless about it. Let things happen the way they're supposed to. Let all the clarity come in that needs to come in for yourself to make this decision, to start building what it is you want. It will happen in the time it's supposed to happen. And let the creativity flow. Let it flow. Write down your ideas. Be, like Let that inspiration do what it's supposed to do. Don't get so antsy to get every little thing done as fast as possible, okay? Universe works in its own way for a reason. Overall energy, we do have a King of Swords in reverse, though. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Underneath that, we do have a High Priestess, Piscean energy. I knew I felt that Pisces energy, but you guys. Also, Gemini, for me as a reader, there's some secrets here. There's some secrets here, Aries. Who is this King of Swords? Is this you? Someone's keeping quiet. Yeah, I feel like this is you, Aries. I feel like you're keeping real quiet on something, real tight-lipped. And like I said, I feel like for a lot of you, that's just your creative ideas on what you want to do for yourself. Again, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Um, but you're definitely keeping something very close to your chest, and you're not sharing it with anybody. It doesn't feel like a bad thing, though. It feels very warranted. It feels very warranted. Uh, they're bringing up the snakes again. Yeah, for those of you who've been dealing with snakes, you know who the snakes are. You're not saying it though. It's almost like keeping my friends close and my enemies closer. That's kind of how it feels. I'm keeping my friends close and my enemies closer. Um, careful areas. Some of you are actually ignoring some of your like true allies because of that, because you're trying to keep such a close eye on your snakes. So just be mindful of that. That's only going to be for a few of you. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this energy. Let's look at the page of wands. Let's look at the page of wands. I feel that creative inspiration kind of coming through here. I'm loving this reading, Aries. I truly am because I'm feeling like I'm feeling like this is all about your path and your self growth. I really like it. Tell me about the page of wands for Aries. Oh, using Rider Weight, by the way, to clarify. Hmm. Tell me about the page of wands for Aries regarding love. September 12th to the 21st. Yeah, you're keeping some secrets, Aries. It's, it's very mysterious, too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, I'm so zoned into the energy. It's actually coming off kind of sexy. It's coming off a little sexy. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Wands for Aries. Tell me about the Page of Wands for Aries regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me more about this Page of Wands energy. Tell me about this Page of Wands energy for Aries. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Let's see what we got here. Wow, we got that King of Swords again, you. <laughs> In reverse, which is Aquarian energy, could also be Gemini or Libra. But then we have the Eight of Swords, which is Gemini energy. So Aries, like I said, you're feeling creative, you're feeling inspired, but I don't like this energy. Because it's telling me that as much as you want it, you're Aries, some of you are kind of afraid to go get it. Some of you, this is about a person. Some of you, this is definitely about romance. You want to, yeah. Thank, all right, spirit, here we go. Here we go with the romance messages. Uh, with this page of wands energy, it's a lot of flirty energy, playful energy. But Aries, for some of you, you're really afraid to go there for some reason. And feeling defensive about it. For those where this is just about your creative ideas and your endeavors and things you want to do for yourself, you're you're again you're acting defensive about it because you kind of know that people are, are are wanting to steal these ideas from under you. You know that, and so this is you trying to gain that clarity and that Eight of Swords energy. Eight of Swords energy is more associated with fear, and you don't want people to steal your ideas, and rightfully so, <laughs> right? Rightfully so, Aries. And so, like I said, you're keeping a lot of things close to your chest. You're not saying a whole lot because you're not going to let someone take those ideas. And for those of us in more of a romance kind of read, keep in mind this can be vice versa. Um, you're afraid You're afraid to, to be flirty with someone. You're afraid to be playful with someone and you're feeling very defensive about it as well. Aries, for those of you in that position, I really feel like it's more about needing that clarity for yourself um, and really trying to, to siphon out the people who are really your true allies. And that could also be why for those in the romance situation, you're afraid to really kind of reach out and flirt with someone in particular because it's like, are they really for me? Are they really true to who I am? Are they just another snake? 
or are they just another horse and not a unicorn, right? Ooh, that was quick. Oh, two of cups, Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy for me as a reader, the sun in reverse, Leo energy. You know this person makes you really happy. <laughs> oh, Aries, you know this person makes you really, really happy. This is soulmate energy as well, but you're depriving yourself because you're afraid. Keep in mind, Aries, this can be vice versa. Someone can be afraid to approach you, um, which is probably going to be the case for a lot of you, right? But you know this person makes you happy and you're just kind of like, I want to, but I can't. I want to, but I can't trust that they're a unicorn. <laughs> I can't trust they're a unicorn like me. And for those where, again, it's like, these are these are your ideas, your creative ideas, your creative, you know, for the things you want to do for yourself that you don't want anyone to steal, right? That Two of Cups energy, I do feel the energy of wanting to, again, share that with true allies, with your soul tribe, with your soul tribe, because you know what it can lead to, but it's in reverse because you don't have that yet. Because you, you, it's like, you know, Aries, you know, you still gotta get rid of some snakes first. You know, you still gotta get rid of some horses before you can have just unicorns left, right? Okay, let's see what else we got for the page of wands. But you are getting restless, though, I can feel it. Tell me about page of wands. If there's two signs that cannot do patience, it's Aries and Scorpios, for sure. <laughs> For sure. And I say that as a Scorpio, Aries. So don't worry. I'm giving myself some shade too. Tell you about page of wands. It's probably that Mars energy. Tell you about page of wands. All right. So we got four other cards that came out here. Nine of cups, Piscean energy. Ooh, that nine of wands in reverse. Double confirmation there. Sag energy. Two nines, by the way. Synchronistic. That page of wands again. And then we have temperance in reverse. Sag energy. So yeah, this is about your wish fulfillment. This is about your wish fulfillment. This is about being happy. Oh, this is about being happy. For those where you're in the romantic situation, you already have a lot of um, emotional fulfillment on your own. This is a very single energy for most of the time, but you do want to share that. You do want to share that. You do. For Again, for those where this is romantic and you know that you have to stop the fight. And you know you have to put your guard down to do this, but with temperance in reverse, you're just not ready. And again, you're also very restless to do it. And so if you're going to do a romantic gesture, Aries, <laughs> if you're restless and impatient to get it done, it might come off the wrong way. And I think you also know that. I think you also know that. Um, but again, for more of this creative endeavors uh, plotline that I'm picking up, it's your wish fulfillment and you want it. And you know you have to stop fighting the universe. You have to stop fighting people. You got to let stuff happen in the way it's supposed to happen while you siphon out through the snakes, right? Or horses, whatever analogy you want to use, right? The people that are not your unicorns, essentially, Aries, the people who are not your unicorns. Overall energy, we do have the six of wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. This is success. You know you can be successful in your endeavors. You know you can be, you can be successful with this person in love. Again, pick whichever one is resonating with you. Um, but you are holding back because you're either afraid to approach this person because you're not sure they're really a unicorn or not. Um, and for others where it's the creative endeavor, you don't want creative endeavors or inspiration, ideas, whatever you want for yourself, whatever you want to build for yourself in life. Uh, you want to make sure you only have unicorns and that no one's going to steal your ideas. And again, totally valid. Totally valid. So until you can figure out all of the horses versus the unicorns, um, it's best to stay in this position. Now, let's look at the nine of wands in reverse and the three of pentacles. We'll look at three of pentacles if that'll focus. We'll look at Three of Pentacles specifically, and then we'll pull some advice. I'll go for Gilded on this one. Talking about Three of Pentacles. Something about comedy just came up. What? Oh, some of you might be, um... Oh, okay. Some of you might be wanting to become comedians or get into that line of work. That's interesting. So I'm with the Three of Pentacles. I just did, I did just her manager. I did just her manager as well. Some of you are kind of trying to become a manager in the entertainment industry. Or just, yeah, yeah. It feels like entertainment. It doesn't have to be, but it feels like entertainment. So I'm with Three of Pentacles. Tell me about Three of Pentacles. For Aries regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Okay. Time about three of pentacles. Time about three of pentacles. 
<laughs> Nine of Wands, Sag energy, and then the Six of Wands, uh, Jupiter and Leo energy. Aries, I have to be honest, I feel like this is you fighting your own success. Aries, remember, don't get so restless and so impatient to make something happen that you end up rushing something. They end up rushing something or becoming so overworked and stressed with the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Wands that you run out of steam and can't really maintain that. Maintain? You can't maintain your stride. Thank you. That's the word I'm looking for. Stride. I, I feel like this is fighting success. I got to be honest. I really feel like this is fighting success. You have known that you have to stop the fight. You got to stop fighting people. You got to stop fighting the universe. You got to stop fighting yourself and let things happen the way they're supposed to happen. Build things the right way. Build things the right way, Aries. Build things in a slow manner so that they really last a long time. If you rush something and building something, it's going to fall apart really quickly, right? Aries, stop fighting your success. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Let's see what else we got for the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Oh, Aries, who is this? Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Wow, Aries. Okay. Got a lot of core cards all of a sudden. Do I have the Three of Pentacles for Aries? Okay. Queen of Cups just came out. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. Then, oh yeah, the King and Queen of Pentacles both in reverse. Both Earth energy. The King of Pentacles is Taurus. The Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. Kings are also air, queens are also water, okay? Now we got a true pair on the board, Aries. But then we've got this queen over here. <laughs> Just hanging out all by their lonesome. This feels like someone who is uh, alone quite a bit, actually. Alone quite a bit or single. Yeah, they feel single. This, per this person feels very, very single here. Overall energy, we have nine of pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy underneath that, we have death in reverse scorpionic energy and then we've got that king of swords upright which is basically the energy that you're harnessing coming into this again keep in mind it can be vice versa but aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra but i love that the king is now upright in this three of pentacles energy this is someone who has clear thoughts who is thinking clearly like i said aries you have to wait for that clarity to come in to see who all the unicorns really are and not horses just wearing little cones on the top of their heads okay <laughs> um this is you figuring it out figuring it out. With the death card in reverse and the nine of pentacles in reverse, I do feel a bit of a Lazarus energy though, wanting to resurrect something. Did you leave a unicorn behind? What is this? Aries, I feel like this is you wanting to dig something up. You know what? I'm gonna use the Kipper cards on that. And then we're gonna get into this court card mess because I can already feel... There's some drama brewing underneath all these cards, okay? So I want to go over this overall energy first because there's something you want to dig up, Aries, relating to what you want to build moving forward. So let's go ahead and look at that. Um, God, I want to use this deck, but I know I'm not proficient at it yet, but they're wanting me to use it. Mm, okay, guys, I warn you, I'm still learning this deck because it's a very hard deck to learn because it's not tarot. It's a completely different system and it has a lot of different meanings with different combinations and it's cardamancy and it's numerology. It's a lot of stuff. So if I have to look something up, I got to look something up. I'm going to try to just do it intuitive, though. But let's go ahead and see, Aries, what you want to resurrect. What does this King of Swords want to resurrect to build moving forward? Because clearly, Aries, even if you're not this King of Swords, like I said, I'm... For the sake of the reading, I'm calling you the King of Swords because I don't want to confuse anybody. If it's vice versa, it's vice versa. But this King of Swords wants to resurrect something. What does this King of Swords want to resurrect? Oh, okay. So we've got the broom or the whip is also what it's called. The energy of 11. And that is, ooh, the Knight of Wands. That's the Knight of Wands. This is wanting to clear the air about something. This is like cleaning something up, getting something right. It could also mean like conflict. Uh, it can mean a lot of things, but I'm really feeling more it's about clearing the air. Clearing the air about something. And with the Knight of Wands, it's like sending out a message of wanting to clear the air. Wow. The, I can't say this one. Skip, Skype, Skip. I don't know how to pronounce the word. You guys know what it is. You guys can see what it is uh, with the energy of 10, which is a cyclical energy. So closing cycles, opening cycles. And this is the Knight of Pentacles, which we do have here on the board. OK, so this is definitely clearing something up. Aries, this is you. Want oh God, I can't hold on to these cards. They're so little. 
This is you not only wanting to clear something up, but also to cut some shit down. Clearing the air, cutting away the bullshit, cutting away the bullshit. And it's progressive energy too, the 10 to the 11, as well as, well as closing out cycles. Yeah, Aries, I feel like you're wanting to either resurrect an issue or just confront a person in particular. Could be one of the snakes or horses wearing a cone, right? And wanting to confront them to really just get down to the nitty gritty and cut through the bullshit, right? Cut through the bullshit. I feel like this is also you just trying to figure out what has uh, caused any instability you've experienced in your recent months. And I feel like for some of you, it comes down to people in your life that has led to some instability. Let's see what else we have here. What is this King of Swords wanting to resurrect? What is this King of Swords wanting to resurrect? Oh, that's it. On the bottom, oh, we've got the tower. The tower with the energy of 19. Again, another cyclical energy. And this is six of swords. Ooh, and then we've got a person. <laughs> uh, this is the woman with the energy of 29. Another 11. You've got two 11s and two cyclical energies. Very synchronistic here. Look at that. It's almost, is it mirroring? Yeah, it's mirroring each other. You got mirror numbers as well. This is the ace of swords, truth. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. You're doing this to have peace between you and another person, Aries. You're definitely doing this to have peace between you and another person. Underneath that, we have the bridge. Six of wands is a 36 energy breaking down to a nine. This is inevitability. This had to happen. This feels a little bit like a tower moment, but a really positive one. Yeah, Aries, you're confronting somebody. You're confronting someone that you either consider to be a unicorn or a horse. And in this confrontation, I think that's what you're actually deciphering. And it feels like it's between you and one person. It could be between you and multiple people. I really feel like it's one person though. Aries, where you're like, all right, let's cut through the bullshit. Let's just do it in this Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles energy. Because Knight of Wands and Knight of Pentacles together, that's a great combination. That's passion and drive, which you have a lot of right now. But Pentacles is about growth and stability and abundance. And you're like, let's cut through the bullshit. What's true? What's not true between us? What's your real motive? What are you all about? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. And with the tower, God, wait, hold on. Can I remember what the tower is about in this one? I feel like it's about stability and contracts. Damn it. Damn it. I gotta look this one up. Sorry, guys. I gotta look this one up. Uh, but that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, I feel like it's about sturdiness, like almost like permanence, but also, but contracts. Like in the way that contracts are essentially permanent, you know, and to some extent. Let's see. Oh, okay. I wasn't that far off. Institution, official, formal, corporate, ambitious, thinking big, legal matters. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right. Yeah. So Aries, think of this as like a hair font kind of energy. Uh, and you want to make peace with this person, with this female. This feels like a very, very feminine energy. It doesn't have to be a female. Aries, like I said, it could be vice versa. Someone could be wanting to do this with you. So just keep that in mind. But this is to cut through the bullshit. And this is something that's basically inevitable. It had This conversation has to happen. It has to happen. And you are confronting someone here. But what's interesting to me, Aries, is that we have these three court cards down here. We've got these three court cards down here. I feel like this Queen of Cups is this, is this person's energy that you're confronting, that you're trying to clear up the bullshit with. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you've been resisting this for quite some time. You've been resisting going there. For some of you, this is like a unicorn you left behind, someone that you thought was just a horse. Turns out they're a unicorn and you want to make it right and you want them to be part of what you're building for yourself moving forward. For some of you, this is that romantic interest where you're like, I can't, I can't, I can't. And then it's like, no, I can. I can. I really can. <laughs> but there's resistance here from doing that. There's resistance here from doing that. But then we have this queen and king of pentacles in reverse. These are two people who are focusing on themselves. Oh, that's why there's three. Thank you. That's why there's three. Okay, I was like, damn it, Aries. Is there a third person going on in here? For some of you, there could be. But for most of you, I feel like this is just the state of you two together right now. Like this is representing your dynamic you have with this person. Because they're very much on their own in this watery energy. And they're very, very, very stable, very sturdy, very grounded. I also feel very quiet, actually. There's something about this person that's quiet. They gotta be a water sign or they gotta have water in their chart. Cause it's like, it's almost that like, um, how's that phrase go? Uh, still waters run deep. It's like, it's that kind of energy. There's a lot going on in this person, even if they don't express it on the surface. 
that's basically what this person is like. But the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, there's been no growth between the two of you. I actually feel like it's been like a huge standstill, a huge standstill. And this is representing your dynamic you have with each other, not giving each other energy, not giving each other time, focusing on yourselves and both of you focusing on your pentacles. Like definitely a lot of like both of you have been focusing on your money and your careers quite a bit, probably arguably too much. But Aries, it seems like you've gained some clarity and you're like, OK, let's dig. Let's dig this dynamic up a bit and let's clear the air. Let's just do it. Let's just go there and clear the air. Ooh, Aries. All right. I like that, though. I like that because I feel like it's very necessary. And we even had that card. Where'd it go? Did I put on the bottom? This is, means inevitable. This is inevitable. And it's a bridge. It's also mending bridges, right? <laughs> uh, I love this deck. Like I said, I'm still trying to get proficient before I really use it. But Spirit made me use it anyway. So Aries, I'm loving this energy on you. You just need to gain that clarity. Keep your stuff close to your chest until you do. Because once you have the full clarity, you'll know exactly the steps you need to take. And the universe will, tends to make things fall into line in certain times for certain reasons, okay? So just trust that. And try not to make yourself crazy in the meantime. Don't get too restless. Any messages for my Aries? Come on. Regarding the spread? Any new glasses? I'm, I'm getting so tired of these. <laughs> Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Come on. Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? I do feel a little bit of mirroring between the two of you. I got to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I feel a little bit of mirroring. Clearly something happened between the two of you, but you both did the same thing. You both just went to work. <laughs> you know, you both just went right to work. Um, and now it's time to like, have a conversation about shit because Aries I think when you went to work again talking to my king of swords here when you went to work it seems like you had some issues with snakes and it's been a little stressful and it's been a little tiresome and you're kind of tired of that shit and it's really make it made you think about who really has your true loyalty right who has your best interest at heart truly and some of you remembered this person and it's like Oh, I remember that person. I thought they were just a horse. Were they really a unicorn? You know, it's it's that kind of energy, which is, I actually really like that. It's kind of endearing. Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Some of you, this is purely business. Purely business. And for some of you, like I said, there's that romance energy here. Any advice for my Aries? Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Oh, Aries, this is part. Oh, this is so Aries. This is so Aries. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold with the energy of four and panther spirit. Reclaim your power. 44, a master number. You got 444. 444. Four, four. <laughs> Want to make sure I actually said it the most accurate number of times. Aries. You are so in this stance of like, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Take your time. Take your time with this. Yes, it's saying to be fearless, be bold, go out and do it. I feel like it's more so for those in the romantic situation. You really shouldn't move on any of this business or romance or otherwise until you have a very clear head as a king of swords upright as opposed to reverse on who really really truly is an ally once you have that that is you reclaiming your power okay you taking the time maybe even being a little bit of a hermit to figure your shit out and once you figure it out boom you can go into action as the badger spirit okay so just know that i'm gonna hold that up a little bit longer because that's powerful energy and i know you guys can feel it so just soak it up <laughs> just soak it up aries soak it up okay all right let's see what else we got up for you guys any other advice Especially those where you're afraid to approach this person, you got to work through that fear. Working through that fear is going to just automatically help you reclaim that power, okay? Working through that fear of approaching this person. Any other advice? Oh, very nice. Any other advice for Aries? Ooh, okay. Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Okay, that's you being protective of your ideas. Any other advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Okay, so now we have 
Armadillo Spirit, set healthy boundaries with the energy of three and Starfish Spirit, open, why well, I want to focus, open to infinite possibilities, 59 breaking down to a five. Starfish Spirit is like my Seven of Cups card. So it's funny I was picking up on that and then it came out here in your spirit animal spread. So this is you having all those ideas, right? Seven of Cups. Well, got a lot going on, got a lot of ideas, got a lot of people who want a part of you, who maybe want a part of you just to steal your shit, maybe want a part of you to really be an ally. You're trying to figure that out. But with Armadillo Spirit setting healthy boundaries, it's exactly what we already talked about, Aries, where you don't have to always be in fight mode, but it is also about siphoning through the horses versus the unicorns, right? And setting those boundaries appropriately. And for whatever it is you want to do in life or you know, whoever this person is that you want to approach in a romantic situation. Because like I said, for some it's romantic, others it's business. You got to go about it a healthy way. Oh, you got to go about it a healthy way. You can't be fight, 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 fight. That's not going to get you anywhere. It might get you far enough, arguably speaking. It might get you far enough. It's probably done a lot of, you know, wonders for you in your life up until this point. But it's very clear that spirit wants you to take the time to really get as much clarity as possible on what options are best for you, what options are truly for you, and who are your real allies, who are your real support group, who's your real soul tribe, who are your unicorns, there's no unicorn in this deck, I wish there was, um, who are your unicorns, set those healthy boundaries in place to make sure that you have the time and space to figure that out, okay, and on the bottom, ooh, lion spirit be generous of spirit uh 37 which is a cyclical energy you're coming into a whole new time period for yourself aries and you're gonna build some awesome shit for yourself and a lot of you want to build it with this person i really feel like some shit happened with you and this person whether it was business or it was romance but you want to clear the air and you want to basically decide once and for all if they're really a horse or if they're really a unicorn okay um but this is an energy of being compassionate being compassionate not being in constant fight mode, Aries. I know, I know, it's not like a broken record. Like I said, it could be vice versa. But this is about not fighting. This is about listening. Like, nope, not barking, not take, like, not giving orders, not telling people what's what. Sitting back, receiving information, receiving clarity, and listening and observing to what people have to say. That's also going to give you more of that space, right, that you need to figure your shit out. OK, but it is also about putting down the wands and not being in such fight mode all the time. Right. A lion doesn't have to say they're a lion. Right. It's just the truth. A lion just has to sit there and they're terrifying. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Aries, you're going to do a lot better if you don't constantly fight. All right. That, again, that's not for everybody, but some Aries really had to hear that. But Aries, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Aries. Namaste.